Hi there, I'm here to talk to you about Tilly in the Buttons Billy sweatshirt and dress. I recently made this dress and I promised that I would come back to you to share my experiences of making the dress, um, going through some of the areas that people out on Instagram and people that followed me told me they were having a few issues and problems with, that they wanted my ideas on how they could be improved or changes that could be made. So I'm here to talk about my experience of making the Billy sweatshirt. If you want any inspiration on Billy, do go onto Instagram or Facebook and type in hashtag, and type in hashtag Tilly in the buttons, Billy, or hashtag sewing Billy, B-I-L-L-I-E. Okay, so Billy, this is the Billy dress. It was released in 2019. It was a huge success um, with the brand name. Um, and I think that's because it was the um, all round outfit that people wanted to wear because it is a sweatshirt and a dress with a number of options available within that. If I turn around to the line drawings, you can see that in the dress option, uh, you can have a straight sleeve or you can have a billowy full sleeve. My dress, um, just to let you know, is the straight arms. You can also have the sweatshirt, again, with those same arms, the, the full or the straight. And in both styles, you can choose to have to the wrist or a little bit shorter. This pattern is available in PDF and in paper format, and it's available in two size options, with the first being in print of UK 6224 and the second being UK 16 up to a 34. So it's a really versatile pattern that I would recommend you go out and pop into your stash. We all need sweatshirts in our life after all. So to talk about the fabric choices with this, um, basically you just need anything that's snuggly and warm. So um, a French terry, a sweatshirt, a polar fleece, even a jersey for a lighter feel. The fabric that I've used behind me, it actually came from Guthrie Garni online and it is in their cosy colours range. It's the blue background, it's quite a denim coloured blue and it's got speckles in it of slight hints of reds with little bits of yellow. I also paired with it the poppy cuffing which I'm going to talk a little bit more to you about. The dress that I'm wearing today, it's actually a So Willow Patterns dress, it's a Paniera dress. You can go online, I'm going to pop the link here, um, it's an Etsy shop, the pattern is available to PDF download, um, it's about £7, something like that. It's a two-tiered dress, so you've got two tiers on the skirt, um, it's got a fitted waist, but there's a little bit of ease in there, and it's got these beautiful big full sleeves, so lots of drape in them, and then this beautiful little collar just here, gorgeous dress easy to make, no fastenings, just slip it over your head and go. So yeah, I'll pop the link in here for you and I'll also share where I get my PDF printing done as well. Okay, so let's talk about um, this dress behind me and I will insert some pictures as we go. The first thing to mention is the length. A lot of people might tell you that the length came up a little bit short for them. Please be aware, look at the model on the packaging. This model will be in the region of five foot six or seven, and you can see already it's coming above her knees. So just be careful of that. You might well want to make this longer if that's your preferred style. There is a short and a lengthened line across here, and I'm gonna go on to talk about that in just a moment with you. This dress I did make on the overlocker. Every single step of the make, was done on the overlocker, making it a super speedy, quick make. So don't be fooled um, by the details in it. You can soon get this done, no problem at all. I think the important thing is that you get the sizing right first, maybe in a practice fabric. And then when you've got a note of all those adjustments, then you'll easily make one in an afternoon, making it an ideal kind of go-to pattern, really. Okay, so let's talk about some of the things that people told me. One, the length is too short on them. Two, there's something a little bit dodgy about the pockets. What's going on? So they're the things that I wanted to focus on. Okay, so let's talk about the first thing, if the dress is too short. Now, if you're gonna make the sweater, this is absolutely fine. Do exactly what you need to do and use that length and shorten line that comes somewhere across here. Now, I'm just gonna stand up a minute to go to my dress. Let me just tip that a little bit. So on the dress in real terms, 
the length and shortened line is going to come somewhere along here. Now, if you're going to make the dress longer, it would be quick and easy to cut across there and drop everything down. However, that's going to cause a problem with the pockets because if you look at the ratio here, from the armpit to the top of the pocket, bottom of the pocket to the hem, it's already quite a long way down. So the best thing that I would recommend is if you're going to lengthen and shorten just here, transfer these markings for the pocket placement and move them back up the dress when you're done. Even better, just add it to the bottom of your dress. They are straight lines, so it's not going to change the shape at all. You'll be absolutely fine. Um, and that's going to get you around that problem. OK, so that's lengthening and shortening covered off there. The second thing that I did um, was around this dodgy issue with the pockets. OK, so what I tend to find when I when I've looked at some of these versions is the pockets going to be just a little bit flappy. And when I mocked it up first, I looked at the pockets and what they were doing. And as I put my hand in, they didn't seem to rest at the bottom of a pocket bag. They kind of went on forever more. So rather than when my hands were in the pocket, they were rested on something and relaxed. They were still just left hanging. And that kind of doesn't doesn't work. It defeats the object of the game. So I wanted to overcome those issues. The second problem with the pocket, because it all comes together, is that they tend to sit a little bit proud. So when you're wearing it, it's like it flops away from the main part of the body. So I wanted to deal with that too. Now, the way I dealt with that was really quite simple. In the ribbing that I bought, it was the poppy ribbing. Oh dear, let me show you that. So I bought this poppy ribbing. Now I did need two packs and it was £5.50 per pack. So it was a little bit pricey, but it was worth it given the fact that this fabric was absolutely beautiful. And what I did is I took a length of this, I measured the, 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 the opening length and I added a, quite a bit more, to be honest with you. And then I cut the width of it pretty much in half. OK, then what I did and I've simulated it on the pattern piece is I pinned the, the cut edge to the edge, the top edge. So right side to right side along the edge and sewed it in. And then, of course, it flipped back to give me this little reveal just here. So what that did is because you're giving this just a little bit of a pull, when it's sewn in, it's pulling it back, thus making it a little bit tighter, stopping it from well flopping around so much, really. So that overcame a massive problem for me. Um, and I'm really satisfied with the results. And I think that actually it gives it interest as well. Now, the other thing I'd say about this is, before I go into the pocket back, back further, is if you are dissatisfied with the pockets when you've done them and you're thinking, I just wish I'd not bothered, don't panic. All you need to do is go back in to the dress here. I've got my hands up the middle right now. And down here on the blue fabric, we would have top stitched. Now, my dress didn't need it. It sat perfectly well. But what you could actually do is top stitch down from the, the side seam all the way down here, capturing the pocket in as well. It would sew the pocket closed so everything would sit perfectly flat. And then you could go inside the dress and just cut away that pocket bag. So you'd still have the interest and detail on the outside, but the pocket is no longer functioning, but you're not getting the flat that's irritating you, thus stopping you wearing it, to be honest with you. Talking about that pocket bag then, um, it's very big. Now, I told you that my hand didn't sit at the bottom. Let's look at this proportionately. There is tons of room down there. I can get two hands in there and it's not needed. Sew your pocket bag in, get it done. Pop your hand in and get an impression of size. And then when you've done that, go back in and sew a new line. All the way up. Check your hand for fit. When you're happy, go back in and finish off the edge. It will give you a smaller bag, but it's going to feel right and you will tell the difference. And of course, it's less fabric to be flapping around when you're wearing that dress. So they're the changes that I've made. And I have to say, I'm really happy with it. I wore it all day yesterday. I felt great. Um, I think I look great. And I was dead happy. The Tilly and the Buttons Billy dress is for me after all. So I'm happy. 
So I hope you found that useful um, and you'll now be encouraged to go away and have a go yourself. If you've enjoyed today and listening to my podcast, please do consider giving me a like and subscribe and uh, I'll be back again very soon. Bye bye for now.